Welcome to Excel hack number 10. During this demonstration, I'm going to introduce you to the autofill command. But not just the autofill command, I'm going to show you a hidden feature, lesser known feature about the autofill command. Now, if you're not familiar with the autofill command, let's do a quick little recap. The idea of the autofill command is to fill in a common set of values. Take a look. I'm up here inside of F2. And I want just a row of months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, and so on and so on. Now, I could type this in manually, or I'm going to type in Jan for January. I'll hit my Enter key just to finalize that. But I'm going to go right back to F2, lower right corner. This is your autofill command. It's that little box. And if I place my cursor right over the top of it, I get a little black plus sign. And now, if I left-click and drag to the right, or up or down, doesn't matter, I'm now going to fill in the months. This is an autofill. Does it for you. This is a predefined autofill, one that's built into Excel. So you can try this right now. Type in January, grab that little box in the corner and drag it, and it'll do the rest for you. Now, what we can do is not only take advantage of this built-in one, but we can create our own custom autofill. Take a look. I'm going to drop down below, and let's say there's a, a set of names that I use all the time. Maybe these are salespeople names, coworkers, clients, whatever it is. And I'm constantly using this list of names. Well, let's create the list first. Let's say I'm going to do uh, Patrick and Joe and uh, Brent, and let's see, we got another Joe, and we got, uh, let's see, Jones, and, and so on. We got a list of names, and this is something I'm going to use again and again as I'm working in Excel. Well, I'm going to select that list. What is that? F4 down to F8. With that selected, I'll go up to File, down to Options. Inside the Options window, I'm going to go to Advanced. And now I'm going to scroll all the way down towards the bottom of the Advanced section. And there's an option that says Create Lists for Use in Sorts and fill sequences. So I'm going to go to Edit Custom Lists. And here, I'll find some predefined custom lists, days of the week and months. But down here, I see Import List from Cells, F4 through F8. That's that list of names I put in there. Let's hit the Import button. And now I've created my own custom list, or autofill. I'm going to hit OK. Hit OK again. And now, if I jump over, let's say I type in Patrick. There it is. I'll go back to Patrick. I'm going to grab that, left click and drag down, or to the right or left or whatever. And now I'm just going to fill in that list. There it is. I never have to type in those names again manually. Oops, I went too, too many. Let's just grab that and drag it back up. Now they're gone. Autofill lists. Okay, but let's take it one step further. I want to show you a really, really neat feature involved with autofills. Look at this. Over here, I've got a simple list, type and sizes, small, medium, large, and so on. But I want to sort this list by size. Well, if I sort the list, let's just click into the size column and go to my home tab, or excuse me, go to my data tab, and I'm going to do a quick sort A to Z. It sorts my list by size, but how did it do it? It did it alphabetically. Well, I don't want it alphabetically. I don't want to do it by size. So let's try this. I'm going to go back to data. I'm going to go to the big sort button. Now, earlier, I created a custom list based on size, putting them in the proper order. So I want to sort by size. I want to sort on its values, but I don't want to do an A to Z sort. I'm going to change this to a custom list. And I'm going to grab this one that I created earlier. Small, medium, large, extra large. Hit OK. And now I'm sorting by the size. I'll hit OK again. And there it is. There's my smalls, my mediums, my larges, and my extra larges. A simple custom list or autofill that you could use to fill in a sequence of values or use them within a sort. Try this out. Create your own, whether it's names or sizes or whatever you want to do, but create your own custom list. File, options, advanced, and create your own. Try it out.